Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about uh, personalizing products with artificial intelligence in 3Kit. So historically, if you shop for anything online, particularly for a personalizable product, you've probably gone through the motions of you know, looking at a product listing page, landing on the product detail page that you're looking for, and then going through the motions of clicking a button, watching the visual change, if you're lucky, maybe inputting text, if you can personalize a product with text, upload an image maybe. Um, and with tools like 3Kit, we've really closed the gap on personalization um, and the visual that kind of comes out at the other side. But really, um, the motions have not really changed that much. The muscle memory is still the same. It's a collection of click, C, click C, type C. Um, and that's not how people interact with things. That's not how you talk to your friends. It's not how you talk to a personal shopper if you have one. It's not how you talk to a stylist. So as a person shopping online, if you're, your customers are, are buying online, it's not a very natural process. We've all gotten used to it, sure, but it's not the most natural way to look for products or to design things. So in the past few months with the advent of um, AI APIs and, and the ability to integrate these kind of technologies into different use cases, um, we've been exploring uh, product personalization with AI. And what does that mean? It means your customers now, instead of clicking those buttons and typing into these inputs, it's a digital stylist almost. It's a, it's a personal assistant. Um, so let's go into a demonstration of that. So here on my computer, you can see that I have uh, a shoe that's floating here in our 3D space, which is great. If you shop for anything online with a 3D visual, you may have seen something similar to this. But really where um, the power of this example comes in is, is not in the visual itself, but in the personalization, like I said before. So if we want to design this shoe for something like the Chicago Blackhawks, for example, I don't have to you know, go into each part of this shoe, start configuring it from drop downs or buttons or anything like that. Um, I can start with a concept. So let's do just that. I'm gonna ask this shoe, can you show me this shoe designed for the Chicago Blackhawks? And it'll think for a moment there. But what it's doing is it's just gonna receive the information that I've given it, and then it's gonna digest that into materials, colors, or whatever um, right here onto the shoe. So as you can see, it did just that. It's designed our shoe close enough into the Chicago Blackhawks color scheme for me as a buyer. It's not as, uh, as exciting as I want. I want a little bit more variations in there. So I'm gonna ask if it can add a little bit more. You add a little bit more red and black. It's a little uh, grayscale for me right now. So I'm just gonna do that. And as you can see, it's like I'm interacting with, you know, a person on the other end of this uh, chatbot. It's not just a collection of forms or input that I'm typing into. I'm interacting with this shoe and this shopping experience, just like I do with my friends, with my family, whatever. I'm, I'm giving it a concept and I'm not having to click through all these buttons. And it's really powerful um, for people that are shopping for items, whether they are complex or semi-complex like this shoe is. Um, it makes it really approachable uh, when you have multiple levels of configuration.